uh, so hi everyone today we'll try to understand uh, detection of cycles in a time series data set using CYDETS algorithm so, so the concept of cycle is still not known to many I think we have been dealing with trends and seasonality if you have worked in time series so you must be aware of trends and seasonality but not cycles so let me give you a brief about cycles also so cycle is a pattern uh, that is coming in a time series at irregular intervals so if you remember in case of seasonality what we are doing is that uh, there is a particular pattern that is repeating every time at a specific interval like for example in summers during summers the sale of certain uh, of summer garments increases right so at every uh, every year every regular interval at a particular point you are uh, supposed to assume you are supposed to see a, uh, a trend that is coming that is coming regularly so that is called as a season seasonality effect now in cycles are not that cycles are patterns that are coming but at an irregular interval so it can be the case that they might come at uh, two months then they might come at after four months a covid wave that we are coming like that is coming very irregularly taken as an example of a cycle but i'm so like i was reading about the cydts package there is nothing much available on cycles on time series so i think it's more on the code that i read and i'm trying to explain that code in a very brief so that you can have an intuitive understanding of how cycles are calculated so let's get started the first step is to normalize the time series then we will be calculating potential peaks and valleys time so basically a peak is a value which is higher than both its immediate preceding and succeeding value in the series and similarly for valleys a value that is lower than its preceding and succeeding value so for example if we have values like 4 5 6 uh, right it uh, in this case 5 is not a valley uh, the point of 5 is not a valley because its preceding value is less than it but the succeeding value is greater than it but now in case of 4, 5, 3, here we have a peak because 5 is greater than both its success, succeeding and preceding values. Similarly, if we have values like 40, uh, 4, 2, 3, this would, be called, this would be called as a valley because 2 is less than both its preceding and succeeding values. This is how the time stamp for peak and value would be calculated. Now the next point is to calculate potential start and end points of a cycle. So how they are calculated? It is a time stamp at which a particular peak is greater than the next peak very easy to understand and similarly potential endpoint is when a particular <coughs> peak is greater than its preceding peak so uh, start point is basically when a peak is greater than a succeeding peak and end point is when the uh, when a particular peak is uh, less than it uh, when a particular peak is greater than its preceding peak i just searching for a pre cycle so pre cycle is nothing but uh, if we have a potential starting point at index x less than the series value of x so uh, leads to a pre-cycle of the length potential starting point x to series x or if we have a potential ending point greater than uh, the series point at particular index x then we have a pre-cycle of the length potential and uh, series x to potential ending x try to understand so potential starting and potential ending points are timestamps right again the series x that we are considering uh, with the pair with the input x is also time we are considering the timestamps only so just try to understand this if the index plays a very important role here so for example a uh, pre cycle will exist at index 3 when potential starting point so we have got a list of potential starting point and a list of potential ending points so potential starting point at index 3 is less than the uh, timestamp at uh, index 3 in the actual data set similarly a pre-cycle exists when a potential ending point and index 3 where x is equal to 3. I am assuming that x is a uh, place where we are getting a pre-cycle. Potential ending point, uh, the timestamp is greater than uh, the timestamp at series at index 3. So basically it's more of a game of the index, right? Else you might get confused. So once you need to uh, sit down for a minute and just uh, observe this whole window to better understand ki how pre-cycles are calculated. Now detecting cycles from pre-cycles, so this is easy. So in this, what we are doing is that um, in the previous step, what we did key once we detect a pre-cycle, we are uh, storing the start point, the end point, the minimum value, and the timestamp for the minimum value uh, for that particular pre-cycle, right? So when the pre-cycle is starting, when it is ending, what is the minimum value in the pre-cycle, and what is the timestamp? Now the next part is detecting cycles from pre-cycles for any pre-cycle which has the same timestamp and the same minimum value will be called as overlapping pre-cycles right so as we are um, storing a lot of uh, starting point and minimum value and timestamp for the minimum value if minimum value and timestamp for any two pre-cycles is the same 
that means that these pre cycles are overlapping and hence you would be rejecting one of the pre cycles so in this case the shorter pre cycle will be uh, so in this case uh, the pre cycle with the latest starting point and the earlier end point right that means the shorter of the two makes sense if you can imagine you will get it so the shorter of the two pre cycles is uh, is made to stay and the longer pre cycle is rejected and this way, in this way we get our cycles so this is a uh, you don't need to implement all this mathematics there is a particular package called as cydds as i told you earlier from which you can import detect cycles and then on your time series data set you can implement this uh, function detect underscore cycles so you will get an output something like this where t start and t end refers to the timestamp for the cycle t minimum is the value for the minimum value present in the cycle and duration is the length of the cycle